Welcome back. We're on, we're on track to finish this game in one night so far. Oh, this is indoors apparently. It's kind of weird. We're kind of on like some kind of foreground and then the actual interior of Shadeshoals is in the background, but whatever. Trevor. This makes just as much sense now as it did the first time. Also, why is Gary tagging along? Ah, oh, cool. I like this in the console version at least. Precipice Canyon, that sounds kind of redundant. Get the underpants. Oh, I guess you don't mean like the underpants that I wear. Okay, aren't we supposed to be prehistoric? What are you doing here? No. Get back here. And that's illegal. Yeah, you're not supposed to exist right now. No. Oh. Jellyfish launcher. Firearms, on the other hand, are not anachronistic at all. Don't you worry. Unfortunately, this actually totally replaces my other attack. Due to a lack of buttons, I guess. I mean, they totally could have made this my... My second attack bound to the right trigger or something, but I guess that's not what they wanted to do. Now see, what's with the occasional uh, off... off-key notes in the music in this game? Hopefully that, <laughs> I say, hopefully that won't kill me. It did end up me landing right on an enemy, though. Oh. This thing makes my life a lot easier, though. Well, unfortunately, we only have one layer of background here. I liked having two back in the caves. I can dispatch with every enemy in front of me. It's kind of nice response time, too. Unfortunately, you tend to accidentally shoot over things. We'll see how much mileage you can get out of that, though, because you don't start levels with it, unfortunately. It's a good thing Kelp Prize existed back in the prehistoric ages. I guess they just grew on the ground or something. Of course, this guy existed too, so who knows. Imagine that does something. Yeah, it, it apparently hurts me. I didn't figure it would just outright hurt me, but whatever. Doesn't do anything? No. You can't really tell what you can and can't interact with in this game. I don't mind picking up lots of these things, considering that I've had some issues with survivability in recent times. And there was really only one segment I've had a hard time on so far. The other time where I really died. Well, I've had a hard time, I guess, kind of two segments. There was the tree dome, oddly at the second level, and then the platforming segment towards the end of the lava caves. But other than that, and I died on the boss in the lava caves, yeah, but that was because I had only I have as much health as I should have, because I picked up the full life refill immediately. I don't think that translates to text as well as it does when voice acted. Ah, bubble wand. Let's see. Oh, we, let's see if this was like a, a precursor to Re Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. I think this game came came before that, did it? I feel like it did. Yeah, this is like exactly like in. Uh, it even makes a loud noise when it pops. A much more sensible sound, though. The, the sound it made when things popped on the. In Revenge of the Flying Dutchman GBO is strangely loud. It did sound like, really like a bubble popping. That's nice, you can actually get reach the thing from down here. And that rises, but very slowly. Yeah, I guess I'm really curious if they just took this same idea and evolved it into a bunch of different takes on that same kind of platforming for oh, 
Cringe the Flying Dutchman GBA. Because that was one of the core mechanics of that game. And I didn't mind it. Platforming, and in some cases destroying stuff and whatnot, using different types of bubble soap. Did that one just run off a cliff? And you had some fairly ornate platforming to do sometimes by going up ah, oops, narrow shafts of stuff with spikes on the side and whatnot, using a, a multitude of bubbles. I haven't been able to make out, even in the console version, precisely what the design is of those crabs. I can't tell if they're like wearing a mask or if it's supposed to be a hat they're wearing or something, like a pirate set. No. Right, most of the enemies here are fairly themed, except I aside from the fact that we've been seeing these same enemies outside of the past as well. So I guess a better way of saying it is that the enemies in this game are very prehistoric themed. And yet, oh, we're in a whale now. <laughs> no transition. And yet, and this looks this looks a lot more fleshy than in the console version. Jeez. And it's one of those things where I forgot what I was saying because I was distracted by the bodily stuff. And aside from the fact that it's all white. Oops. Like, just apply a red filter to this, and you basically have a bunch of fairly unpleasant looking stuff. Oh, let's talk about oh, the prehistoric appearance of all the enemies in this game, though. Aside from, of course, the people that just run at you for no discernible reason, which are still used in the prehistoric area as well. Yeah, I guess this game's just kind of generous to you in terms of life and whatnot, because. The one time I ran into something that could kill me instantly, or really the two times, I guess, in the Trito and in the Lava Caves, I had trouble with it. But every other time, I did not have much trouble. Not because I'm not getting hit, I guess, but because. Thanks. But more because. What are you doing in here, woman? I feel like enemies just appear sometimes. Like, I turn around and there's an enemy there. But I get hit by all sorts of things. It's just that I don't take enough damage from them to matter. For that to matter. No, I should not take that health there. I don't know if that's the place I want to go. Oh, wow, this thing looks a lot, a lot like I did in the console version. Still kind of a weird idea for a boss theme. Yeah, I don't know if going down into there will... I don't know if there's just a wall down there, if I'll fall, die if I fall down there or something. This one at least doesn't teleport between a couple different entrances and exits at least. You know, for some reason I have a hard time hitting enemies and they charge at me. Yeah, you know, I can't get him from when he's coming from the lower lane. Okay, that happened. Well shoot, that was actually... A little too fast. Uh, we might just do things world by world though, or chapter by chapter, so I might end it here and say this was a short episode, but we had a long episode earlier. And maybe the next one or two will be longer? We'll see. Bye everyone.